Hey everyone, welcome to another video uh, of this Easy WP series. So, if you have not checked my pre earlier videos of the series, you can check from the playlist link. So, let's come back to this video. And in this, uh, today I will show you how to activate the CDN feature that Namecheap offers with the Easy WP Managed WordPress hosting. And I will also do a speed test of this uh, website. This is my website host. Uh, you can see this. Uh, this is the domain. This is the website. Uh, this is my website hosted on Namecheap CCWP hosting, and this is the uh, this is completely uh, the basic WordPress installation. And I have not created any post or made any changes. I have not installed anything. No plugins. No themes. Nothing. This is the basic default installation. So. First, um, before activating the CDN, what I will do is let's uh, do uh, some speed test and see how the, how what uh, how is the performance. And for this, I'm using three servers just to be um, just to have better idea and real experience. Okay, so I will uh, prefer a uh, desktop app. It's available. Let's from the to Europe first option. Okay, so the paid speed Google paid speed test has. Uh, a score of 98 on mobile and you can see the first contextual contentful paint is 1.6 seconds and first meaningful paint is 1.6 second speed index is 2.7 max potential um, 70 ms okay and for desktop uh, a score of 99 from google page speed test so uh, this is pretty good but um, this is a blank uh, installation default installation of wordpress with um, no content so with no post with heavy images or plugins so uh, the score was expected but okay let's check the gt metric score and gt metric score is also uh, 100 percent and y slow score is 95 percent okay pretty good fully loaded time this is what i'm looking for is 1.1 seconds and page size is 269 kb and request are nine so okay this is pretty good and this uh, this test region is vancouver canada and this is the web page test.org org speed test and um, it's the aa so it's um, everything is good Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so this was the test and um, run three. First view was in 2.198 seconds. First view 2.213 seconds. First view 2.28 um, seconds. So first byte uh, was zero point. So okay, so this test is pretty good and now let's learn how to activate the CDN feature so just go log into your WordPress uh, easy WP dashboard I think it's pretty simple you already know that and if you don't know how to do it you can check my other videos and then scroll select the website you want to I've selected this and then scroll down and come to the CDN thing. then click on manage on CDN So this is their Namecheap's own CDN service and they only offer it with the Easy WP hosting and it is not available with any other hosting right now and if it changes I will update in the description or something. Okay so what uh, Namecheap only offers the free tier and if you want all these advanced features you will have to pay for it. So this uh, I felt a bit misled with that they only offer the free version even with the supersonic plan uh, and uh, with turbo plan and starter plan it's all, they only offer the free version. So what you have to do is scroll down and then click on this get free forever 
and uh, this is for a small website get up to 50 GB of accelerated traffic includes basic DTS protection so let's get this and it will show you zero dollars then confirm okay now it is showing your website is being being added to the CDN this will only take a minute or two okay got it okay so the process is complete and it is asking for the SSL certificate and I'm using the name chiefs provided free positive SSL certificate as I'm on the supersonic plan this uh, this free positive SSL certificate comes with turbo plan and supersonic and for starters you have to use a custom certificate I've already created a tutorial about that so you can check uh, my other video okay guys so again um, so I have to create upload a custom SSL certificate for using with CDN um, using my I have created generated a custom SSL certificate to know how to do this you can um, watch my other tutorial you can watch my this tutorial how to add custom free SSL certificate to ECWP name cheap WordPress hosting and I have shown the whole uh, whole process how to do it so I have already generated the certificate just to, to not make this video too long um, what I will do is now put this and um, yeah here yeah. okay now okay to be honest this name cheap um, easy WP hosting is not so easy and it's kind of really complicated even for me who knows how to manage uh, who to how to do this stuff it's really complicated and the help articles are of no use so paste this uh, all these details here and then click on upload and you will see this message success your SSL certificate has been uploaded and it is showing now custom SSL protected so let's go back to the dashboard and okay it is showing active and status is online and okay the ends records this um, uh, the, the firewall is not available with this plan monitors the DNS record and let's go to analytics analytics um, there's nothing yeah, analytics is also upcoming so this is pretty uh, this is in a pretty beta stage as you can see uh, it shows early access so it's um, so don't expect a lot from it and just um, to be honest the whole website is just too slow and let's see the what's in the CDN settings um, the origin is very viewable so this is by default the what uh, where the easy WP hosting server will send you okay so this is we don't have to edit it don't mess with it it should be um, by configured by default correct and purge actions um, okay let's try to lifetime origin control um, query string control um, it's cache all strings okay cache exceptions uh, and if you don't want some page to be cached uh, you can add that URL there and um, okay let's um, GG requires basic plan so even for this GG uh, GZIP compression 
uh, you will have to upgrade it's not available with the free plan so I mean that's really disappointing client browser policy um, okay you can set change the browser how much time to live and um, course header support HTTP. Um, even this is not available HTTP um, version 2 support is not available with the free version it's asking for an upgrade so it's pretty limited I mean I would be uh, just you know Cloudflare Cloudflare free plan offers a lot of lot more features uh, much more better security features firewall and everything a lot of security rules you can set and the CDN is just um, disappointing okay and then the SSL certificate I cannot really figure out the and DDoS configuration firewall select the DDO medium sense okay domain threat 10 seconds so um, upgrade to be able to customize threshold values okay so to upgrade you have to um, so you can basically depending on if you are getting any attack you can try changing the settings but if you want to customize the threshold you will have to uh, upgrade your plan so only this basic settings are available with the free plan and allowed IP okay so even to configure that blocked IP you cannot even block IPs and that's no firewall enabled web application firewall only basic DDoS protection is available so okay and uh, nothing user agent and a lot of these features are available with the free free cloud player plan so okay um, allow okay and um, you can allow it's like you cannot do anything it's just monitors also upcoming so let's um, check the SSL thing and I will just clear all cache and okay and then um, and we have already done the testing I'll just close it we have already done the page speed test with uh, without the CDN so after installing the SSL certificate let's try to do this again click on analyze okay it is still not loading and you can see it's still not loading the website properly so this is a problem with this namecheap ECWP hosting everything is so complicated you know on a normal shared hosting you could just use Cloudflare and everything just gets set up easily this I have not faced such problems with them so what I will do is try to clear cache from the hosting and see if it changes anything I will go to the dashboard and again let's clear the try to clear cache and see if the rendering process gets fixed again okay it is still not detecting the CDN let's go back to home and um, this is the website and let's try to do it from a different location from Amsterdam and okay so after clearing the cache um, it is working and the speed score is still 91 99 which was the same I think okay now it was 98 without the CDN and um, with CDN it is 99 and on desktop it was 99 before and now it is 100 so well there is some difference with the CDN and let's check the other test and this was I think the I think it was the same um, after, during editing I will put up both the test on screen so there's not a lot of difference and the page size was 280 268 KB 
before and when KB has increased and in the third test it is um, still waiting okay so the third test is also completed with um, from web page test and well it is not detecting the CDN so for some reason and um, so it's pretty much useless and um, I will still put the comparison loading time it is from done from different servers so you know just to clarify that okay 